Hello everyone, welcome to SB Crack. My name is Prashant, and in this session, we are going to cover the study plan of mathematics for CDS examination. Right? This is the 30 day study plan. So, if you have 30 days right in your hand, then you should follow this study plan so that you can uh, score more and more, right? Better marks, right? So, in this session, we are not going to only discuss the study plan, but we are going to discuss the marking scheme and then we are going to analyze the whole topics, right? Which, uh, whatever topics that come in CDS examination, right? And then we are going to cover uh, every topic day by day, right? We will hit uh, daily target, we will set the daily target, right? And we will cover these topics thoroughly, right? So, first of all, as you know, the marking system uh, in CDS mathematics paper, there is a 100 question total, right? Total 100 question and 100 marks are there. One question for one mark, right? And uh, there is a negative marking also. So, 0 0.33 marks for every incorrect answer. It means 1 by 3, right? 1 by 3 negative marking, right? So, first let's see the elementary math syllabus. So, this is the syllabus algebra, geometry, number systems, trigonometry, mensuration 2D, mensuration 3D. Right, statistics, speed, distance, time, ratio, and proportion, and uh, time and work, simple and compound interest, profit, loss, average, logarithms, set theory, percentage, data interpretation, permutation, and combination. Right. So these are the topics uh, of uh, CDS uh, math syllabus, but uh, we only uh, because we have only 30 days. Right. So we can't cover all the topics. Right. So we will cover only these topics: algebra, geometry, number system, trigonometry, menstruation 2D, menstruation 3D, and statistics. I am telling you why we are covering only these seven topics because from these seven topics, if you see around 80% questions are coming right in the examination. It means if uh, there is a 100 question, right? So around 80 questions you will get from only these topics. So that's why I am covering only these topics, right? And I will suggest you to cover only these seven topics, right? To score more and more, and more right? So let's move on the first topic that is our algebra. And the maximum number of questions being asked from this topic is 26. If we uh, see the analysis of 2016 to 2021, and minimum number is 12. So it is a very uh, scoring topic if you see. So you have to uh, give it four hour per day, right? And day one, you are going to cover all the main content lectures. And day two, you are going to cover all the previous year questions. And day three, you are going to cover sample practices, uh, question answer or quizzes, right? It's up to you. If you are able to cover both, then you can cover both, right? The next topic is geometry and this geometry session maximum number of questions being asked is 21 and minimum number is 7. So this is also a scoring topic. You can cover this, right? So you have to give day 4 to day 6, right? Main content, then previous year, then sample practice and quizzes, right? 4 hours per day you have to give. Then the next is number system. Maximum number of questions being asked is 19 and minimum number is 8. So this is the this is also a very important topic, right? Because uh, the question from this topic being asked are very simple, are very easy, right? So day seven to day nine, you have to devote uh, day seven to day nine uh, for the number system only, right? And you are going to cover main content, previous year, and sample, right? After that, you come to trigonometry, right? And trigonometry maximum number of question being asked is fifteen, and minimum number is four. So this is the also important topic, right? So we have to cover pro, uh, from uh, these topics uh, for three days, right? So day 10 to day 11 to day 12, right? You have to cover main content, previous year and sample. The same uh, concept, right? The same, uh, same, same, uh, sorry, the same pattern we will follow, right? And then you are coming to menstruation 2D, right? In menstruation 2D, you get the question like uh, the area from the area and uh, the perimeter, right? So, in this uh, topic, the maximum number of questions being asked is 15 and minimum number is 5, as you can see. So, this is also a scoring topic because in this topic, you have just have to learn the formulas, right? No, nothing other than that, right? So, yeah, day 13 to day 15, you are going to cover menstruation 2D, the whole topic, right? And you have to devote 4 hours per day. Then coming to menstruation 3D. In menstruation 3D, you are going to cover uh, questions like the volume question, right? Uh, so, in this uh, uh, this topic, from this topic, uh, maximum number of questions being asked is 14, right? And minimum number is 4. So, this is also a scoring topic you can cover, right? And day 16 to day 18, you are going to devote only for menstruation 3D, right? In this uh, day 16 to day 18, 3 days, you are going to cover main concept, previous year and sample practice quizzes, right? Now, Next topic is statistics, right? So, statistics, uh, minimum number question being asked is 3 and maximum number is 10, as you can see. 
so uh, statistics you have to devote three days right so day 19 day 20 day 21 you are going to give only statistics right and four hours per day and in this session you are going to cover in this time period you are going to cover main concept previous year sample practices right now this uh, is for uh, all the seven topics right now day 22 to day 30 right you are going to only revise the whole seven topics and give mock test right you have to give only mock test and you have to only revise so uh, if, if you can right uh, i think you can so you can give uh, from one to six mock test right so day 22 day 30 you are going to only revise and give mock test only right the, this is the main focus of yours and if we uh, expected if we talk about the expected number of questions so algebra geometry right algebra the expected number of questions are 18 to 22 right geometry 12 to 15 number system 12 to 14 trigonometry 10 to 14 menstruation 2d 9 to 11 menstruation 3d 9 to 11 statistics 8 to 10 right these seven topics we have already covered but if you have time right to revise things or after uh, revision things are uh, done then you can uh, just uh, you can just see the simple basic formula of these topics also right so that you can solve this question also if you have the time right because the uh, total question from 2016 to 2021 20, uh, you can see there are algebra 20 uh, 217 question 160 question 148 question 137 question 121 question 101 question right so uh, there's a large number of questions coming from these seven topics that's why i uh, am suggesting that you have to cover only these seven topics because 80 percent of paper coming from this uh, only these seven topics right so you just have to cover only these seven topics if you have time so you can switch uh, and revise the main concept or main main formulas of other topics right and uh, more focus on revision right uh, so after that after done with the concept things you can go to shortcut tricks also right so uh, after uh, covering all the concepts you can cover the shortcut tricks also but if you have time so i will suggest you to do concepts right and uh, tricks also you can learn right and uh, remember that the basic concept uh, are very are very crucial right so in the examination uh, they can give you more more marks right rather than tricks because if you uh, forget the trick uh, you are not able to solve the question there right you will not able to solve the question there so that's why i'm suggesting that you should learn that concept also right so that you can cover more and more questions right and these are some tips i have written there so you can go through them right and the main key to success is practice and hard work, hard work right so you have to do practice 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 the few because in the math section uh, without practice you are nothing right so you have to practice you have to revise the whole concepts or the whole formula so when you are covering these uh, all the topics in 21 days so remember that uh, key remember that point that you have to revise them also if you are not revising these things you will forget right you will forget and the examination you are not able to do the simplest question right that's why i'm saying uh, that 22 to 30 day 22 to day 30 you are going to only sit and revise all the seven topics if after that if you have time you can revise the some basic uh, basic formula of other topics also right and uh, last but not least that uh, be confident right and uh, tell your mind that you are going to cover all the topics and uh, if you are not able to if you are not able to cover all the seven topics just cover five to six topics right uh, uh, from top right from top you uh, can cover five to six topics right that that is enough if you can't cover all the seven topics right and uh, be confident and uh, you uh, tell your mind that you are going to cover all the questions with 100 percent accuracy right jain all the best